what is going on guys and welcome to a new video um, I hadn't planned for this to be my first video after sort of a hack um, I was going to put out a road to rebuild episode um, got a bit of a rack sort of next in there at the moment maybe a few clue scrolls um, but actually the there was a, an update today the Gower quest was released and along with that came a mini update that was like a pre-release for the new upcoming boss the new solo boss Telos obviously I'm going to be covering that in as much detail as I can you know drop logs um, guides and all that good stuff um, but this pre-release event means that it, it's run kind of the same as next, so you have to get four key pieces to make the key uh, to be able to kill the boss. Now, to do this, instead of having to camp kill count, you just have to kill each of the bosses once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do that now, and then maybe um, just go over sort of some of the the sort of things we know about the boss so far, maybe some theories, uh, just sort of interesting to discuss what, what this boss might entail, and I'll also obviously just talk about the loot a little bit, because... Uh, we could be having some new high tier uh, weapons to use, so yeah, we'll uh, jump into doing some uh, some of the God Wars 2 boss kills now. Okay, so we've picked up the first piece there, the uh, sigil piece for Zamorak. So let's go grab uh, the other ones now. Okay, that kill was pretty horrible because I was using bloody chaotic spear. Uh, just completely forgot that I was going to get absolutely wrecked by his melee attacks. Um, but yeah, that is two out of four down. We'll go grab the Zamorak and then the, um, what's the other one? The Serum one. Alright, that is three out of four down. Let's um, grab that Sigil piece of Serum and then we'll move on to Vindicta and Gorvek. And there we go, the final Sigil piece picked up there. Let's just loot all of those. Alright, we'll head to the bank and we will combine um, all of these together. Okay, so I guess we just hit assemble and we get ourselves an ancient sigil. An ancient sigil that resembles some of the architecture found within the heart. Maybe it has a use there. So from what I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, it's going to be used to unlock the door um, to get to Telos. Probably by the looks of it, it's going to be a one-time use thing to sort of permanently unlock it. Um, so it doesn't look like it's going to have the same mechanic as the frozen key. For next, so that hopefully we won't have to keep recharging that. Yeah, it just looks like you know we'll slot it into a uh, sort of a keyhole, and then that will be it. The the room will be unlocked. Okay, so this last part of the video is more just going to be a podcast discussion type thing where I'll go over what we know so far, my predictions, and just theories um, about this new boss that is coming up. So the lore behind it, uh, briefly, is that he's a knight born from the life force of the planet and he's there to protect it by basically killing anything living which seems a bit weird but anyway um so it's gonna be the door i think is gonna be unlocked by the ancient well it definitely will be unlocked by the ancient sig sigil i think it'll be a permanent unlock though as opposed to a, uh, a like one-time use and then recharge so i don't know whether that's a good idea or not because then there is a good way to get a gold sink in there um they may implement that they may not we'll see um, when it is released. Now it's going to be added to Soul Reaper assignments um, and also obviously you'll need to get the Reaper titles all back for killing one of every boss which means that it is going to be a completionist cape, cape requirement to kill this solo boss. Um, now I'm not completionist myself but yeah that means you're going to have to do a bit more PVM to get your completionist capes back. Now the fight is going to consist of four different stages and I really like how they've done the sort of environment around it in that, like Virago, you go through the five different stages, except it's four different stages, and um, you can actually see down to the lower levels, and you're fighting down into the heart of the planet, and you can see it. It's not like load another area, load another area, which I think is really awesome. I love how it's going to add new mechanics um, each platform you go down, and obviously like Virago, I wouldn't be surprised if they throw in a weekly rotation um, to make, you know, it different every single week. I think that's one of the great draws to Virago in that you have different weekly rotations because um, you have to do something slightly different each week and it just makes it a little bit less tedious as you kill it. Same with the right so you get the different paths. I mean, I know everyone prefers path two, uh, but personally I've been starting to enjoy path three and path one, just just trying different things out, uh, just trying to have a bit of fun with it and not necessarily going for maximum kills per hour. So yeah, really, really love the environment and the sort of idea behind dropping down the levels, new mechanics and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so moving on to the drop mechanic. It's got quite an interesting drop mechanic behind it in that you can loot it straight away and get your loot, but at the lower in rages, you have less chance of getting the good drops, as in the new weapons that are going to be released. 
or you can chain chain your kills so I may not loot one I may not loot after my second kill I may not loot after my third kill but I'll loot on my fourth kill and I think that gives you a better chance of receiving good loot so you can chain your kills up for this for this better for the better overall loot or a better chance at getting the uh, the rare items which I really like and it also gives you sort of a bit of uh, a, a way up in that you could chain your kills up but then you might eventually get to a point where you just you can't kill it anymore like it's too difficult for you to kill it and you've chained all these kills up and you're like oh, I can't I can't claim my loot um, which would be like sort of a, a toss up between you know going for the maximum amount of kills and making sure you could actually get them all and I assume it'll have sort of a daily reset limit um, like a or sort of reset at midnight and if you haven't managed to defeat it to claim your loot at that point, then it's reset back, but you also lose your loot, which I kind of like the idea of. I think it would probably something be around that. Um, they said, obviously, with a higher enrage, you get more, you're more likely to get the drops, which is cool. I actually read something on Reddit, which I thought was a really awesome idea, and I really hope they do this, but I don't think they will. And basically, this guy was saying that the drop mechanics were going to be linked in with death. So essentially whenever telos kills you your enrage goes down and whenever you kill telos your enrage goes up and the higher your enrage the better chance you have of getting um getting one of these rare items so basically you have to be killing it more times than you're dying which i really really like because it is sort of a to like you'll get to this sort of equilibrium point where you know you might kill it once and then it'll kill you and it means that the lower in rages, if people are dying to it a lot when it's new, it means that they could put in a really low drop rate at these low in rages. So some are coming into the game, but then increase it at these higher in rages when people learn to actually kill it, which I think would be a really cool mechanic. Um, I don't think it's going to work like that, but yeah, I just I read that on one of the, on one of the Reddit posts, and it was I just thought that'd be really really awesome. Anyway, final thing I'm going to talk about whilst I'm rambling is to just move on to the weapons that are going to be released. So, we know that they're going to be higher than tier 85. Now, recently with God Wars Dungeon 2, they have released a, the new weapons which are tier 90 accuracy but tier 80 damage. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they did a similar sort of thing um, with these new God weapons that are coming out. So, they're going to be aligned to each of the factions that we've come out. So, we've got Seren, we've got Zamorak, we've got Zaros, and we've got Sliske, whatever that one is. Anyway... Uh, there's going to be weapons aligned with each of those factions. So there's going to be God Bows, uh, a new God Sword, God Staff, and something else, I think. And then there's also going to be a new ability drop. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they introduced sort of a weapon that was maybe tier 95 damage and tier 85 accuracy. Or somewhere along those lines. Like, not exactly those numbers, but somewhere where there was a bit of a balance. So, you could either go for. They don't want to completely destroy tier 90 weapons or Araxor or Virago because there's so many good bosses that drop those tier 90 weapons. And if they just create tier 94 weapons with this new. Or tier 95 or tier 99 weapons with this new solo boss. It almost. Unless they're outrageously low drop drop rates. Uh, it's going to make all those other ones kind of obsolete. Which uh, I know during the progression of the game that does happen. But Araxor is a really good boss. And. It would be a shame to see prices absolutely crumble because there was a new higher tier solo boss that and nobody ever went back to Iraq saw. Um, but yeah, and especially the same with like Virago and stuff like that. So I think there will be some balancing around maybe making the weapons good in some situations and not in others so that you still do use those other tier 90 weapons. Um, so yeah, those are my predictions around the weapons. Um, I'm hoping that they look really cool. I'm pretty sure they will do. I think I've seen a bit of concept art for the God Bow, which looks sick. So I'm hoping that I can get my hands on some of those nice and early on. Maybe make a bit of profit to earn back uh, some of the money that I have lost. Um, I will be putting out a video tomorrow with an update, or probably tomorrow, with an update of what I've been getting up to, how I've been trying to build up my gear and armor so that I'm ready to face Telos and get enough supplies. We're doing pretty well at the moment. We've had... Uh, a nice juicy drop which really helped early on but i won't spoil that i'll save that for the next video and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video guys if you have any predictions about this boss yourself please do whack them down in the comments uh i do enjoy reading them and i'll obviously reply to any comments that you put on there and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this first video back i am pumped for some more escape uh in sort of separate but related news i've decided that i'm going to take a little bit of a break from my uh, my real life job which is going to 
uh, free up a bit of time for me so I should have a bit more time to pump out some more videos over the next month or two uh, just while I'm searching for uh, something different and yeah as I said I really hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope you're pumped for tell us guides I hope you're pumped for tell us uh, amazing drop logs and awesome loot and yeah have a good one see you in the next video